I think it looks amazing. In that video I did about the world's brightest, smallest battery-powered video light, most people seem to like this one instead of the one that I was talking about. This is the Amaran 60D. Not a bad light, but I think the reason most people like it is because it was the cheapest one. <laughs> but I have something now that is smaller, more lightweight, and most importantly for you guys, cheaper than this. How's that even possible? This is only 150 bucks. <laughs> it is possible. This new one is just as bright and it's only a hundred dollars. How amazing is that? Welcome to the world of the Colbor CL60M. It comes in a nice white box, and inside is a wonderful carry kit. Look at this, look at what you can get for the money. This is amazing. So you open it up, and inside here, the first thing you notice is how small this thing is. Look how small this is. That's the light. It's amazing. And it has this nice shiny thing. It has a uh, Bowens mount, a wall plug, and the thing that goes on the bottom. Now the thing that, I'm gonna talk about this in a second here. The Bowens mount, this is so easy. You see these little ball, the, uh, what is that, ball bearing here that goes in and out? You just click it right on. There, it's clicked on. And then if, when you're done, like okay, you can put the Bowens mount on, you can put anything that's Bowens mount on there. And then when you're done, you just push it and it comes right off. It, it's on there really tight, but this is so cool. I mean, you can have no bones mount or this. It just clicks on, there, it's clicked on. This is not going anywhere. This is really, really rugged. Now I'm gonna battery power this so I don't need this. This is the bracket that goes on the bottom. It has this groove here that you slide in there, turn this, and you have a bracket. Now, this is great and everything, but you know me, I want things as lightweight as possible, so I'm not gonna use this. What I'm gonna use is a little hot shoe mount. This is made for hot shoes on cameras, and it just slides right in there like that, and then you tighten it, and underneath of here is a quarter 20 thread. So look at how I went from this big, heavy, clunky thing to this. If you want to swivel it, use something like the one that comes with the AD200. If you really want to save weight, just use a little ball head like this. This light is so lightweight and small that you can just use a little ball head for holding it. Instead of this big giant clunky thing, you can use a ball head. There is no quarter 20 thread on here. I know some people are going to ask that. There isn't, but it has this slide track that a hot shoe device will fit into easily and then you just tighten it and then you can put your ball head on there. It has an indented track on top and one on the bottom. All right, this is the Amaran 60D. That's how big it is. And this is the little cold bore. Almost two pounds. This is like one and a half pounds. This is, so this is 771 grams, 660 grams. When I put the reflector from the, the 60D on the, the uh, CL60, this is half a stop brighter now. So that is, I mean, I'm trying to, you know, get as much as I can out of this little thing. So those of you who are, a, you can order this reflector separately from uh, Aperture Amaran. Uh, I've got enough of these, so it's not a big deal for me. But anyway, you get another half a stop of light by adding the reflector from the Aperture instead of this one. I mean, this one's pretty good, it's fine. Um, anyway, so look at this, how amazing that. Now, where's the battery go? You'll notice there's a little USB-C connector there. That's where your power goes in. So, so you can run this off a of USB power. And you can use any USB little battery, whatever. There's a million of them on Amazon. But what I like to use is a little V-mount. Now you and me, I like small. This is my favorite V-mount battery. This will make this thing run forever. It's a small rig 99. Look how small this thing is. This is a V-mount battery. All right, so I've got the USB cord plugged in here. It's on my ultralight light stand, which I mentioned in the previous video. This weighs nothing. <laughs> this, these ultralight light stands, the collapsible portable ones, are perfect for lights like this. Anyway, so I've got my, uh, uh, what do you call V-mount battery, little tiny one, and this is the magical device that just hooks this right onto the light stand. This thing right here. This thing is the miracle of mounting V-mount battery to lights. Look, check, you got a little clamp here and you just clamp it onto your light stand and you'll notice there's a, a little V in there and then you just click your battery in there 
How awesome is that? You've got a D-Tap to USB-C adapter. The D-Tap end goes into the battery and the USB end goes into the light. Or in the case of the small rig battery, you have all these options on top where you can plug different power sources. You have USB-C right to USB-C. Now you have your V-mount clamp that you can clamp to a light stand, but there's also this optional that's made by Colbor directly for this light. It's a little V-mount thing that slides onto this track here that you then lock into place. And now you can put your V-mount on the side. This is just like the uh, this, the uh, Amaran 60. You know, it's clunky on the side, but what are you gonna do? I mean, where can you possibly put the battery unless this is longer and it's stuck on the back like uh, the Stellas do. But anyway, so you got your V-mount on the side. Let's say you don't have a V-mount battery. Let's say all you have is NP batteries. Well, that's where you have this plate, also made by Colbor. So you can plug your NP batteries, and then it has a V on the back, and then that goes on the V notch here. So now you have NP batteries on the side of this thing. Or you use a USB battery, which you then plug into the USB outlet in the back. So there's so many cool ways of lighting this thing. We have light. I love it. And because it's a Bones mount, you can put a softbox on here. So now you have a light, self-contained, portable, lightweight, small. This is another one of my favorite small lightweight softboxes, which I mentioned in the softbox video. So here I have it inside of a softbox. It's just a little battery powered light that's on a cheap little light stand, lightweight light stand. And the softbox is a collapsible umbrellas type. So this is a really lightweight setup that you can take anywhere. It weighs nothing and uh, look at the light you can get. Oh, I love it. Now, I know some of you overthinking men are going, what's the CRI? What's the color accuracy of this thing? Well, I just set the camera to daylight and this is it, just turned it on. What do you think? I didn't white balance it or anything, no gray card. I just turned it on, set the camera to daylight. Does this look pretty good for daylight? What do you think? Yeah. I don't even worry about CRI anymore. Nowadays, most lights are so good, even the cheap ones from China, I don't worry about it. it there's this is just amazing. I mean, I am so happy the color looks so good, right? I mean, this is just nothing special, no special setup or color, I didn't have to like color grade it or put any LUTs or logs or anything. I just turned it on, pushed record, and there you go. So this is the CL60, which is actually 80 watts, and they also have a CL100, which is 110 watts. So this is even brighter. It's a little longer than the other one, but as far as the profile, it's exactly the same. Now, a really cool feature about these lights that nobody else has is you'll notice there's a recessed track on the top and the bottom, and there's a track that sticks out on the sides. This is part of the modular system where you can actually slide these things together and start stacking them. So you could have two or three or six or nine. These are stackable lights. I mean, how cool is that? Look how small they are. But when they're stacked, you obviously can't use the Bowens or the reflector on there. And these are wireless. They can be remotely controlled and they have an app so you can remotely control the color and the brightness of each individual light. Now, again, I don't do the bi-colors. I only do the daylights because they're brighter than the bi-colors. But yeah, you can change your color and all that. Now, this has a really, really quiet fan, which you can adjust. Right now, it's on smart mode or you can adjust it into quiet mode where it makes almost no sound at all. Smart mode is where it adjusts automatically. This fan is so quiet, you, you can't even hear it. I mean, it's like silent. This thing is, it's called a hummingbird fan system. <laughs> it's super, super, super quiet. I, I don't even hear the fan. It's on 100%. The microphone is right next to it. Do you hear anything? I mean, Kara breathes louder than this. It's made by Cinco, the same company that made that cute little wireless system I talked about in my audio series. It's such a joy to work with. Not a big, heavy, clunky thing with wires and control boxes and cables. Of course, prices change all the time. I'm sure when Amazon finds out about this video, they're gonna raise the price, but hey, it's still a small, great, very lightweight light. For this price, you can buy like four or six of them and take them with you and they take up no space in your suitcase. They don't weigh anything. All right, so here we have our Colbor CL60M for 100 bucks and our Nissan LS50C Super Ultra Lightweight Compact Light Stand. What a wonderful travel setup for lights. I mean, this, this weighs nothing. It's really small. It's, this is not very expensive. And for hooking up a uh, V-mount battery, just all you need is a little tiny clamp here. And that's it. This is, this is uh, my new fun toy to play with. 
and it's just so cool and exciting and fun. Yeah, and I thought I'd share that with you. It's got all kinds of buttons on the back. It has all kinds of effects for special effects and things, uh, you know, for lightning and flickering lights and TVs and simulating stuff in any way. I, I, they do make this in bicolor. I don't, I, I never get bicolor. I get just basically daylight because if you have just daylight, it's brighter than a two color thing. Uh, so I just get pure daylight and I always, you know, I can always gel it if I have to. But anyway, cold bore. CL 60M, around a hundred bucks. There you go. The new small, portable, lightweight, uh, bright, battery-powered light. I search the world for new, exciting things, and when I find it, I play with it, I buy it, and then I share it with you, and uh, that's what this channel's about, is to share the joy of playing with toys. <laughs> I love it. Yes. And there's our little thing for today. All right. Hope you enjoyed this. I hope I light up your life. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.